day number four is what you've been looking for. Bounce you can Okay, so day four in the style of Richie Kotzen this time. So I have this pretty demanding uh, big old legato line that we're gonna be running through right here. Um, I know he doesn't use a pick anymore nowadays, but I'm not that good, so I gotta use a pick. But um, yeah, this is the one that definitely, if you uh, want something to work on your legato or just wanting like a rather, you know, kind of like, you know, kind of like a, <clears throat> his, his legato is like very slippery, so that's what I tried to imitate. Um, of course, it's nowhere near as good as his, but it's, it's something, it's something. Now, back and tracking tabs are down below. Uh, I keep forgetting to mention it, but if you guys leave a comment, I'm gonna pick a winner each day to win my new lesson pack down in the comments. And of course, like with the other videos, we have awesome sponsors here, Acacia Guitars, Rev Amps, and Dragonheart Guitar Picks, where you can save 12% on a Pro Series Generator 740 in your entire order of Dragonheart Guitar Picks for the next 12 days. Uh, some of these are limited, and those are the, that stuff's all in the description for you, so you can see all that down there. So shall we begin the Richie Kotzen Legato Sesh? First thing for this lick, take your right hand, chop it off. It's legato. We don't need it. Get it out of here. Just joking, of course. Um, uh, please don't, please don't chop your hand off. So the lick, were nice and slow, would be like this. <laughs> So what do we have going on here? Now I'm I'm kind of I'm basing this off of like E minor pentatonic, uh, but I'm adding a lot of these chromatic notes in here just for honestly convenience, you know, to make the scale kind of work for me versus working for the scale. So what I do is I do a big slide in. I, he used to do this a lot, and I, I always loved when he would do this. So I slide into actually 16 on the high E string. So even though we're, this is minor pentatonic, I'm actually sliding into the major third. So um, I'm going to go 16, pull off the 15, pull off the 14, and then pull off the 12 on the high E. So now from there I slide back, back down and kind of into box five of our E minor pentatonic and I'm going to go 10, 11, 12 on the high E string. So then I pull those back off. So, so basically what you have here. So yeah. now from there I have to go to the B string and I only pick the first note if you notice the, the, my hand. The rest is I'm, I'm changing strings by using hammer-ons from nowhere. So now I go to the B string and I'm going to go 12, 11, 10, then back to 11, back to 12, back to 11, back to 10. So so we have. I go to the G and it's the same thing, but I'm just following the scale a little bit more. So I'm going to go 12, 11, 9 on the G, back to 11, back to 12, back to 11, back to 9. Go to the D string. This one is exactly the same. So we have. Now here I do a kind of you know a very signature Richie Kotzen thing. It, also from Greg Howe, he does this. It's like a major seven arpeggio. I'm gonna go 12 on the A, then 11 on the D, nine on the G. Now I go up here to 13 on the G with my pinky finger. And instead of kind of getting that major seven, you know, the way you might want to in kind of box shape, he slides up from that, like that. Okay, so I go slide 14, no, so I slide up to 14, sorry, down to 13, pull up to nine, 11 on the D, 12 on the A. And I finish with kind of this little funky on the very end of it, so. Arpeggio. And that's just bending 12 on the A. Pulling off to that uh, 10. I, might have I think I picked it actually. Nope, I did pull off. And that's how it ends. So I'm actually ending on that G note, which is our minor third.
All right, guys, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Make sure you're keeping your eyes out for those secret little videos hidden in some of these. So uh, they will be scattered around here for you. But other than that, thank you all so much for tuning in. Tomorrow, what's tomorrow going to be? Well, you're going to have to stick around to find out. If you want links to the other ones, check out those other days. I got that stuff down in the description as well for you. So I will see you all tomorrow. Peace out. Hope you're having a great day. I will see you later. High five it up, yo.